All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel once again. Um, tonight, I'm just going to fish a, sh a shallow, low water bark tonight. Um, I'm just going to be targeting, hopefully, um, bullhus tonight. Um, it, apparently, there's been uh, reports of a few husks coming out, so I thought I might um, have a wander down and give it a go. Um, the baits I'm using tonight, I was on the, my, um, my local pier this morning, and I got um, 50 mackerel this morning off the, my local pier. Um, I put about 20 back because a lot of them were like little, and I mean little tiny, tiny mackerel. They were very, very small. Um, I've never seen them that small before. Um, earlier on in the, in the tide, I started getting like like them little mackerel, like loads of little mackerel. And then as it filled in, I um, got better mackerel, like your average sort of like stamp. And um, quite a lot of um, joeys, like, you know, like joey, majority of them were joey ma mackerel, to be fair. Um, so I've brought, I think I've brought about 15 with me tonight. Um, and uh, so just fishing on rocks tonight, cast into like a um, little bit of kelp, not much kelp, and uh, like weed and things like that. Um, I only, I fished this, I fished, I fished here all my life, but I fished it only once last year. Um, in September, I think it was, I think it was like get, coming towards end of September, if I remember correctly. And they had three us that night, um, but they were only, biggest was only about three pound. Um, I actually got two conga that night as well, I got one about nine pound, and you had about four pound that night. Um, and like a couple of, couple of small hus. Um, I actually had two at once, two, two on both panels, and um, two little hus. Um, so hopefully um, we'll get some hus tonight. I'm fishing tonight um, with my new rod, um, Evolution Pro Sport. Um, I believe this rod's a five to seven ounce. Um, it's it's a, it's it's a very 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 stiff rod. It's a rough ground rod, like, and it's one for like higher macro baits, um, higher macro baits out there. It's just um, it's just here with us. I'll give you a proper shot. There, you, there we go. There's the tip section, anyways. I'll give you a proper show of it when um, I'm on the beach um, fishing. And I'll give you a good show of it. Hopefully, I'm hoping it was forecast heavy rain this morning. Now, well, say this morning, this afternoon, about between 12 and 3, it was ex we're expecting like 3 millimeters of rain per hour as well. Um, but it never came. And actually, the sun came out like a little bit, like, but not much. But the sun actually did come out. Um, and then it, it was forecast, it moved towards tonight when I'm fishing. <sighs> Excuse me, it moved tonight when I'm fishing. And I checked it before, well maybe an hour and a half before I left home. And it's actually, um, it said 0 0.2 millimetres, which is hardly anything. I mean, there's little spits coming on the car now. Um, so the rain's moved again. It's actually moved into tonight, like midnight tonight onwards, it's moved then. So... Uh, I'm just wondering if it's like weather weather fronts coming in and maybe the direction of the winds like pushing it away and you know from where we live which is a good thing like you know um I saw so on the pier this morning the water was actually quite murky and I was like earlier on in the tide and I was still um I was still catching plenty of mackerel like two three four five at a time obviously they were already very small but you were still catching the, the buggers like and um, once tight and then obviously when tight got up the water just completely cleared and they were everywhere literally everywhere like um i kept 35 and i say i've brought 15 with me tonight and um and i threw the rest back as i say because they were too way too small way too small um so hopefully so we've got so basically the bait i've got tonight it's um just fresh mackerel basically tonight so that's all we've got um I lost a few sinkers yesterday when I was on the rocks. Um, I think I lost about five or six. I've got two seven ounce Navax leads left. And I think I've got about six, five or six. Just like your average five ounce grip lead. I can't remember, really remember the names of them. They're just like an average gripper race basically. No fancy about them. Um, I just five ounce grippers basically. Um, uh, me uh, brought two slash thirties. Uh, we both of them are loaded with 40 pound line um, ideally on where I'm fishing tonight I could have done with like as I say my fixed bills in the uh, it's broke so 
I'll have to get a new one, but ideally tonight I could have done with a fixed pearl braid and banging it out as far as you can because you do need a bit, little bit of distance on here because um, it's only a 1.7 meter tide. If it was like a 1.5, you'd have been fine. Like you'd have been, like you'd have reached the ground where you want to be fishing about a 40 yard cast. But tonight, because it's a 1.7, you want to be, it'll be a 78 yard cast to get into the the weedy ground where the hoofs like to like to feed it. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge for me. And I'm not particularly a big caster either. So. Um, so yeah, I just have to wait and see how that one pans out, but I reckon, well it's overcast, I don't know if there's any colour down here, I'm not too, I'm not too sure about if there's colour, um, we'll find out when I get on the beach, but if, um, if there is colour, it's an advantage for me, but it is overcast and we are fishing in the dark, so that's an advantage as well for me as well, I suppose, um, once it starts getting dusky, I reckon that will be my best chance of probably catching a fish. If I do catch a fish, that is. Um, so yeah, I'll just I'm just fishing with pulley rigs as well. With um, what have I got? Three or and four or um, oh, te uh, tamers hooks tonight as well. A lot bit bigger than what I normally use, but obviously I'm fishing for hooks, so I like a little bit bigger hook. Um, with a, I'm actually using my um, 100 pound hook length tonight as well. 100 pound hook length. Um, I can't remember what line that was. I, it's in my video somewhere. What type of line it was? It was a fancy line. I can't. I can't mind what it was. It was one of one of the lads put me on to it. He uses it for halibut in Norway. Um, I can't really remember what type of line it is, but um, I mean, it's a lovely spot. <laughs> um, high hundred pound hook length, and uh, eighty. I'm just using asso my eight, eighty pound asso on the on the body of the pulley. <clears throat> um, just power swivels and um, your average bead basically. So I'm um. I'm actually quite looking forward to it. Hopefully it'll go well. Um, can't quite get on the mark yet, I don't think. So, what time are we here? Oh, my bad. Can't see what time it is on my phone. Um, I think it's about maybe 10 to 7. I reckon I'm going to try and fish it two down and maybe an hour and a half of the flood and then come off because obviously low water is late on tonight as well. So, 20 past 9, low water. And I think it's 7-ish now. Maybe 10 to 7 or something now. So ideally I want to be fishing at about 20 past 7, you know, so I reckon uh, an hour to a half an hour before low and maybe an hour of the flood, I reckon that's when I'll get, if I get, if I get fish, I reckon it'll be around that sort of time. So I just have to wait and see. I'll be, sh I'll be flabbergasted if I got a fish early on, like, like with the height of the tide. If it had been a bigger tide... I'd have expected fish at any point it's had. When I fished this mark in the past, obviously, um, I've had fish tied, dropping back a couple hours, and I've had them on the flood a couple hours as well. So it's an any, like it's an any time on either side of low water, this type of mark, depending on the height of the tide as well. So, so yeah, um, it's absolutely pissing down now as well, fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> so... I hope I'm gonna have to check the weather before I get out of this car. I haven't brought a coat because I was relying on it to stay to stay away the rain. Like, um, oh yeah. By the way, if it does decide to stay pissing down, um, I won't be putting my video. I won't be putting my camera out, railing in and cast or casting out because I'm not get. I'm not risking my phone getting knackered again. Like, so uh, if I do catch any fish, I will try my best to like show you on the camera. You know what I mean. Um, but I will, sh I will show you my mackerel and fins, and I will show you this rod as well, this Pro Sp Evolution Pro Sport as well. Um, so yeah, so I'll, um, I'll put you down, guys. I'll get me, um, me arse into gear, get all my tackle and gear sorted, and we'll head off out. So I'll catch you in a bit. All right, guys, just back again, just after showing you the rod. Um, here's some of the mackerel that I caught today. Um, well. The first, well, I had about 50, but they, these are some of the 35 that I, I did bring home. Um, some half decent sized ones. Um, yeah, they were pretty. These are the joeys here. I mean, they're absolutely perfect size for what I'm fishing for tonight. Like, um, so yeah, hopefully um, they'll do the job. I'd, I've said I've brought about, I think I brought 15 or something with me. Um, I've just cut them down into chunks, they're the size of the baits I'm using. Um, with 100 pound line, so 
yeah. We'll see how we get on. Um, like I say, if we blank, we blank. Was that rod? Is that rod just moving, or was that the tide? <laughs> I'll um, I'll just stick you in the camera stand, guys, just in case. Uh, so I'll catch us in a bit. Ah, some of just, I think it was a small husk because it was dead black. It was like a dead dark, very, very dark um, fish. It was dead, I think it was one of them small hus, hus pups possibly. That's what it's just done to me macro bait. Damn, it was, it was on top of the water. It slapped landers and everything. Um, maybe second breaker and they just come off. A bastard like, ah well. Right guys, I'm gonna have to get another bait out so I'll catch you in a bit.
second cast. Nice um, Clar Bogus there guys. See it'll be about three and a half, maybe four pound ish. I'll just get it this in a pearl and um, I'll just get casted out first. But um, it's a very good sign, fresh mackerel doing the job. So I'll just put it in the pearl for now and I'll get back to you guys so I'll catch you in a second. There you go guys, nice um Lau Hus there, so maybe about four pounds or something like that. And um, the first one that I lost, that was probably about similar sort of size as well. It's actually settled and settled down nicely for the camera now. Um, just on fresh mackerel. Fresh mackerel, that's it. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> I've always got my eye. My line's dropped proper slack there. I don't know if that's another fish having a go or what like. But, um, oh, there you go, guys. Enough nice um, push there to kick, kick start the session off. I mean, I should have had one first cast, but second cast paired off. There you go. Nice. So, <laughs> I'll catch you in a bit. I don't think it's going to be long, mind. <laughs> so, catch you in a sec. All the hoofs there, guys.
something like. No, it's a smaller bush. This guy's actually felt bigger. But I think it was just we've come through all the weeds and things like that. In the lip. I am not putting my hands in your mouth, pal. So you're gonna have to give me a pack. Ah. Here we go. Here we go guys, another push it's a smaller fish this like. A lot, lot more spot here though. Um oh, just spat a lot of crabs out there. There you go. Another um hus. Smaller fish this time. It's um nice markings, nice um dots on it. But um just like a slack line bite basically and a couple of nods, but ah right, there you go. I'd say this one's about three pounds, that's uh, it's only a small fish like but ah uh, cute, cute larpings. Your eyes on them. There you go. So fantastic, just need a bigger we just need a bigger hus. He has been hus off here before to around fifteen pounds off this off this bit. So uh, that's what I'm hoping for, but I probably won't catch out like that like um just catch a smaller fish. <laughs> but ne never mind. But uh, there you go guys, nice little hus there. Smaller fish, but welcome nonetheless. Fantastic. Right, guys, I've had a few bites, um, but unfortunately, I haven't, had, I haven't been able sorry, to connect with them. Uh, I had a good bite before, it just dropped a load of slack line, reeled into it, slack dropped back slack again, so I tightened up into it. Fairly food, hit it, snagged solid, lost all my gear, like, um, God knows what that would have been. Um, getting loads of like thump and bites and then they're not coming back and then I've just managed to nail something that I've never caught off the shore before only in boats um, it's the first for me off the shore so I've just caught my first ever top off the shore <laughs> um, I'm chuffed a bit yeah. there you go it's only two and a half pound or something three pound nah about two and a half pound it's yeah. definitely a top like yeah, chuffed a bit with that. <laughs> Didn't expect that catch that down here. Oh, watch them bloody teeth. But um, ah, there you go. Perfection in miniature. Nice wee toe. <laughs> oh crap, I'm gonna wreck my bloody legs. Um, wonder if there's any big ones on there, like. Only time will tell. I suppose if you come down with fresh mackerel, you actually might catch a few big ones. But there you go. My first ever toe off the shore, fantastic. Definitely 100% a top like. Um, my bloody uncle keeps bloody falling me. I'm trying to video, do me heading like. Trying to open its mouth. Ah, oh, there's its teeth. <laughs> right there. <laughs> do my bloody heading in, in like. Trying to fish. But, um, ah, there you go, guys. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> That's chuffed the bits with that. Right, so I'm gonna get a steal of this a steal of this fish guys and I'm gonna get it returned to fight another day. So catch you soon. Oh, Alright guys, it's just starting to get dusk now. Um I had a dog fish before off camera. Don't wanna show you on them because they're shite, <laughs> basically. Um I've just caught this big fella here on uh, my mackerel. He's got some cracking claws, I mean look at the size of my thumb compared to his claw. <laughs> Look at massive claws, I'm like absolutely huge. Size of that. Like, I've only got small hands, like, but that's some size um, claw that way. Not sure if it's sizable or not. I mean, I don't eat these old lobsters really, so I'm not particularly bothered. Like, but the claws in it are absolutely massive. <laughs> Do a good carp bait, I suppose. <laughs> but I've been saying it's a male crab, so it won't be any good really. But I caught that on uh, a Joey mackerel. Big crab. We'll pop them in here. Hopefully I'll find a female soon. Um, so yeah, that's it uh, for now. Anyways, I've probably got an, maybe an hour's fishing left possibly than our guy am. So we'll see how we get on guys. So I'll catch you in a bit. All right guys, I've just got another um, another hus then. Uh, it's, it's probably about three and a half pounds. Four-ish maybe. Oh, 
I had a massive chunk of weed on as well. I thought it was a good fish, like a really good fish, but never mind. Here we are. Another um, nice huss there. So I've had three huss, a top, a dogfish, and uh, a big edible crab. <laughs> but um, oh, there you go, guys. Another um, nice bull huss there. All just on mackerel. Fresh mackerel, that is. You know. Go. So I'm gonna get this guy put in a big rock, well, rock, nice rock pool up there, guys, and um, I'll report back if there's any more action. But I uh, we're having a good session. Three hoofs, a top, and uh, a dogfish and an edible crab. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. If there's anything else. <clears throat> right, guys, I'm back in the car now. Um, I was getting a few bites. Um, on the flood of the tide, but like now, like it was tied on the ebb. Um, on the ebb, they were pull. I was getting really good bites, pullovers and slack liners. Um, th they were hoofs, obviously, because I was catching them. Um, but on the flood, I think they were dogs, maybe even small top. Um, just pecking at the bait. I was getting like fuds, and then now, like just bait was, bait was just dropping the bait basically. Um, yeah. So I, I had um, three hoofs, a top. A dog and a massive edible crab so another bad session <laughs> um, I was after I was after a double figure host to be honest with you that's what I was really after but um, unfortunately I didn't get one but that's how it is um, plenty of other time to try down here and um, try and get a double figure hoose out um, pretty sure um, it will come if I put plenty of time in so yeah so um, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos guys I actually I enjoyed this one actually um, so um, I'll catch you in the next video guys, um, tight lines and I'll catch you later, cheers.